don't know if you can see that. It's like my homemade flapjack. Shredded wheat gives it like quite a nice texture actually and like helps everything stick together. Not the healthiest of flapjacks, but certainly like with the chocolate and the cocoa powder. Very nice. Do you think they actually put the name on there because they've got enough room? Because they did it for a reason. By the way, that's the name of this town. I have a go at pronouncing it. It's actually known as Plan Vipul to save pronouncing it all. I feel like I've not spoken to at all today. That's kind of true. Um, it is like the wind is so strong. I can't even risk taking my hands off the bars to to do a video because it's just like. Oh. Um, but now I've kind of topped out on the mountain and there's a little bit of shelter around me. Not a lot, but um, I've just finished. Well, just done three and a half hours. Um, 150 TSS. To be honest, like most of the ride has just been like zone one, zone two. Like if I if I was to guess, like this ride is probably 65% zone one. Um, but that's okay because the the idea behind this ride today is to back up what I did yesterday. And the format of today's ride, like you guys can do, because it's uh, it's pretty handy. Like anyone can benefit from it because a lot of people actually already do it. So if you ride like you know two three hours, it doesn't have to be mental, but you know, just long enough so that you, you're burning calories. So at the end of the three hours, I was at like 2,000 calories, 2,100 calories burnt, kilojoules. Uh, so that's how much work I put in. That's obviously calculated by the power meter. So it's pretty accurate. And then uh, I've just basically just hit the climb uh, around about like 10 to 15 minutes. Maybe about 10 minutes this time of year at least. And I've just gone like, not really hard, but kind of, from thresh, so 350 to 400 watts, so between like, you know, like 6 watts per kilo or 7 watts per kilo, that kind of range. And, you know, I felt really good then. My heart rate took a while to rise. Um, all good signs, but obviously, you know, take it with a pinch of salt because I've not actually done a lot of work leading up to it. So, uh, you know, those first three hours were really easy. But, you know, we'll build on that, so I'll do efforts in those three hours eventually, and then I'll do that same kind of 10 minute effort at the end to to kind of finish it off but the idea is that obviously i'm capable of putting out an effort at the end of at the end of that kind of time on on the saddle but <clears throat> interestingly like like i'll show you on here so you know it's brought a normalized power up to 221 average power 189 so there's all my stuff on there um that's like my average page so that's my climbing. So we're at 302 elevation at the minute. That's meters, by the way. And uh, yeah, that's what we've done so far. So three hours, four. Uh, three hours, 34, I mean. So by the time we get back, it'll be about four hours, uh, just over 100K. So so decent day. And like I said, it kind of backs up what we did yesterday, because yesterday was, was really good. And uh, today's actually even better. I was surprised I was able to do that. Um, yeah, happy, happy. So generally when I get back from a ride, uh, first things first would be to shower. Um, get myself cleaned up, especially if I've got wet. And then uh, second priority is recovery. So protein, um, I've got protein shaker, so I'll have protein and maybe some kind of carbohydrate. So the whey protein I'm currently using is uh, just whey protein. Yeah, it's not like, it's not like a recovery shake as such, it's just 25 grams of protein. 
And funny enough, it is from my protein. I'm currently on the smooth chocolate flavor, which is quite nice. I can actually see where I rode today. So after I've drunk this, um, I usually have like a meal pretty quick. Uh, it's just really to tide me over the protein. So I will have maybe three whole eggs and then depending on what we've got here, uh, maybe some yogurt afterwards and an apple. Or, oh, yeah, maybe. We'll see. I'll do a quick kind of analysis of my ride. It won't take long, maybe five, ten minutes. But just to see, um, you know, if I did any particular efforts, just to see how the efforts went. And then, um, just as like a general kind of overall, like, overall rating of the ride. So on training peaks, there's like, you know, the 1 to 10 scale, how hard is the ride, there's like, you know, how did you feel with the smiley faces. Um, so I'll just, I'll just fill out these things really quick just to give me a little bit of uh, backbone to look back on. But actually, here's the ride now, so this is on Strava because uh, I wanted to look at that final climb, which is there. I'm pretty surprised with that, but look who's bang on 10 minutes, so talk about a 10 minute effort, it was bang on 10 minutes. So we'll just take a look at the climb comes right at the end, there's the effort, can't obviously see my power is going down, but the climb was like flattening off, like up here, so I did my initial effort early on, let's see how slow my heart rate is to come up. 175 the early doors it was actually not actually that hard in general if I look at it as a as a 14 minute block I did 351 watts um, an average heart rate 167 uh, for a 12 and a half minute block I did 360 um, an average of 170 Beats a minute, so <coughs> excuse me. That didn't actually didn't actually feel hard, um, which is great. There's a middle section there, seven minutes at three seventy, so all good. So it's really uh, there's a really handy uh, website that I use called windy.com, and guess what? It tells you the wind weather. Uh, that's pretty much all it's good for. I mean, it will tell you like the rain and what have you, but I use it for the wind. And um, the the climb that I did the effort on at the end today, where I did the Strava segment, is Manith Landergai climb, three and a half kilometers, a five percent. It took me ten minutes, so I came in at ninth overall. Fastest time is nine fourteen. Um, so obviously 44 seconds, we've got, oh look at this, we've got Dan Bigham from Team Ribble, we've got him at 9.37, we've got Dan Evans, 9.35, we've got Gareth McGuinness, uh, for those of you that live in North Wales, you know Gareth, 9.22, um, but yeah, I came ninth, and the Windy app, and this is the road here, so, like, the climb starts in Tregarth and then comes, I think it's that lane there. And you come up, come up, come up, come up, come up, come up. And then I think it ends like here. So all of it, especially this, this is all exposed, like open moorland. And I had like, like an 80 mile hour headwind, roughly. That, that won't be entirely accurate, but yeah. So not bad, not bad effort at all. Get off the heat. Pan is hot enough to cook them now. Thing with eggs, they'll keep cooking even when you take them off. <laughs> 